So I'm in Akron, Ohio, which is a city that has an overall violent crime rate of 115% worse than the national average, which is what I would refer to as regular city bad. We're gonna go through the downtown area, which that area jumps up, the downtown neighborhood jumps up to 219% worse which then you're getting into where um, it's actually, things are starting to get bad. And we're gonna go through the downtown area and then East Akron, which is 203% uh, worse. So we'll hit a couple of the bad areas. There aren't any like really super bad areas in Akron, like you find in a lot of cities, like you'll find most of it is really good and there's just a couple areas that are that are really bad that kind of bring the whole city down that's not really what this is this is more there's just a bunch of areas that are like kind of bad or worse than you know much worse than the national average but not like super bad um, the city as a whole has a population of 187,000 people and their population peaked in the 60s at 290,000 and it's been on a slow decline ever since so it's gone down you know about a hundred thousand people in the last you know 60 years or so and uh, it's 60 percent white 30 percent black and five percent Asian and 79 percent of the people that live here right now were actually born here so a lot of the people that were that were born here they stick around and the, uh, there's a 4% non-citizen rate here as well. So this is, we're heading into the downtown area right now. It's not too big of a downtown. So in 2020, they had a record 50 murders, beating their previous 1974 record of 48 here. And that was normal across, kind of across the country. Um, in 2020, most cities got worse. So that's not like uncommon that they would have gotten worse here as well. And prior to 2020, they had 33 in 2019 and 32 in 2018. So they went from 33 up to 50 in just one year, which that actually is a, a pretty good sized jump. And apparently 90% of all the homicides that they have here in Akron are with gunfire, which makes sense. That's a, li a little on the high side, but it's kind of most American cities, that's kind of what they're like, is their 70 to 90% are guns or caused by guns. And this city actually has a worse murder rate than Columbus and Toledo, but it's better than Cleveland, Ohio. So it's one of the worst cities that they have in, uh, in Ohio. But the downtown actually looks, I mean, it looks like it's at least being used, which a lot of the cities you go through now these days, since 2020 anyway, they don't even appear that 
people aren't going into the downtown at all and most of the buildings are closed up and these at least for the most part are what I've seen so far appear to be at least used not a lot of people down here but the buildings aren't all boarded up either and covered with graffiti which is what you see in a lot of cities up going going east out of downtown jumped from over there it was under three dollars and there it's 359 in just like less than a mile yep and here's one up here 299 see that that guy was doing a wheelie on his motorcycle I don't know if you could see that on the camera but he was doing a wheelie up the street so we had passed the University of Akron and that the violent crime there is 266 worse than the national average and this now we're this is more of the East Akron and a lot of the buildings in this area are closed up And we're just going to go through a little bit further just to see what this looks like. It's not a bad looking city. just to the right that off the road that looked like a 
all the windows are broke, broken in on. wasn't as exciting as I thought it might be. There really wasn't much to look at in those neighborhoods. Like I said, this really isn't a bad city. It's just a city that's got normal city crime. Yeah, there's a big building that looks like a lot of the windows are busted out on too. It's a city that's got normal levels of crime for a city and it didn't look too bad driving through it. There was a small section that some of it was um, you know, a lot of it was closed down, but for the most part, it looked like a city that's regular crime level city.